Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Chef Girl RD. Today I'm going to show you how to pressure cook a one pot pasta and meatball dish in the 8 quart Ninja Foodie Deluxe. So to start off, I've got a box of penny or penne pasta. I've got four cups of water. I've got a jar of pasta sauce. I've got a can of diced tomatoes and I put together a little dish. I've got about a half a teaspoon of salt, a dash of pepper, and a little more than a dash of some crushed red pepper. And then over here, I've got some frozen meatballs. Now feel free to use some homemade meatballs, but for today, I'm just gonna use some regular store-bought frozen meatballs. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my pot this is not necessary, but it's just something that I do before I cook anything. Next, I'm going to just drop in my meatballs. Got about 15 of them. Now I'm gonna toss in my pasta. And I'm gonna add my four cups of water. So I went ahead and I poured my pasta sauce into a measuring cup and I have four cups with just a little left over. I actually added a little bit of water into the jar and I'm gonna shake that up and throw that in there too. So let's put our sauce in. Gonna give this a little shake. And you're gonna toss that right in there too. I'm gonna use it all. So next, I'm gonna just dump in my can of diced tomatoes. And I'm gonna sprinkle on my salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper. So I went ahead and I just gave it a quick little stir, but nothing too crazy. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the um, pressure cooking lid. Make sure it's in the seal position. Now I'm gonna turn on my foodie. I'm gonna make sure it's in the pressure position. It's gonna stay on high and I'm gonna change the time. I'm gonna go five minutes and we're gonna start. All right, so the pressure build has completed and now it's gonna count down and cook for the five minutes that we've set it to. All right guys, I'm back in a couple seconds and the cooking is done. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually just allow uh, two minutes for a natural release. And then after two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick release. So I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes. Hey Bixby, set a timer for two minutes. Timer for two minutes, starting now. All right, and uh, check back with you in two minutes, guys. All right, so my timer just went off and now I'm going to do a quick release. <laughs> Okay, so all the pressure has released and my button has dropped. So hopefully this looks as good as it smells. So I'm gonna take off the lid and take a look. And there it is. So I'm just gonna give that a little stir. And that looks really good really really impressed yep all the time was perfect now you see it's a little thin so it's gonna thicken what i'm gonna do next i'm just gonna stir it give it a nice stir and i'm gonna close the lid for probably about uh, maybe four or five minutes and that's gonna thicken right up. It's just about done. You know what? Maybe I'm not even gonna go four or five minutes Maybe I'm gonna do about three minutes and I'll check it. All right, be right back 
All right, so three minutes is up and I'm gonna take another look and I think three minutes was perfect. Yeah, that looks really good, guys. So dinner is ready. I'm gonna take some of this, put it right into my bowl here. Oh, this looks so good. And here we have it. Penny pasta with meatballs, pressure cooked, and the ninja foodie. And I'm gonna actually cut right into one of these meatballs here. Let's see. Well, I mean, they were pre-cooked and frozen, so. But that stuff looks good. A little parmesan on here it's kind of a lot but it's how I like it take a bite mmm oh so good well, hot, but it's definitely good. All right, guys. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to see any more videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I'm going to have me some pasta right now. Bon appetit, guys.